What's up, YouTube friends? My name is Pi. Welcome to another episode of Constructive Critique, where we verbally bash your photographs in a nice way for the most part. This week, we are featuring guest critiquing star Jay Casario of Twisted Oaks Photography. Jay's an incredible photographer. He is a, uh, you are like a endorsed, right? You're like an ambassador. You're also MagMod. You're shooting like 100 weddings a, a year. Like, dude, what are you not doing? Other than I'm working out, because you're clearly not working out. I'm not napping enough, I can tell you that. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, I'm not working out enough. This shirt is <laughs> way too baggy today. You picked that shirt on purpose, bro, just to show off your gun. Uh, it's cool, it's cool. I stole this from my four-year-old, it's all right. So, Jay, you know the gist of what we're gonna be doing. For you guys out there that are tuning to our first episode of Critique, well, number one, Stay tuned because after the episode, Jay does have some incredible stuff that I want to talk about, including you have an upcoming workshop um, in Iceland. Where is it? That's correct. Okay, we're going to talk about that. He also has other education workshops, everything. You guys need to follow Jay, but we'll talk about more in a bit. Let's jump into actually critiquing your photographs. We picked 11 images from the premium members group. This is the SR Lounge workshops group from previous purchasers. We're going to do another one with Charmy from the general group as well. Uh, but I wanna jump into that. You know, but they don't, how we're gonna rate these images. So basically, we're gonna give these images a score between one and 10. 10 being kind of just an incredible image, world-class, portfolio-worthy, this needs to be published everywhere type photograph. Five is basically what the typical photographer should be doing. The typical professional photographer should deliver an image that's a five. And anything below that is where we're gonna say, okay, here's room to improve. Uh, we shouldn't have that many ones. We also shouldn't have that many tens, but we'll go from there. Then we're gonna give some critique on kind of how each one is done. Now, we're gonna borrow a little page from uh, the F-Stoppers critiques where I like to call out, I think it's kind of cool to like call out, you know, that number at the same time. And then we'll talk about it. We're also gonna give each image a two minute timer. So we're gonna start with Brianna Lindenmeyer. Today's focus is natural light portraiture because that's Jay's specialty on top of flares and working out. These are the three things that Jay does incredibly well. Flares. True, very true. Natural light and working out. He actually does a lot more. Than Love that. flares and picking <laughs> things up and putting them back down. <laughs> All right. All right, nice brother. Story. Okay, we're starting with image number one, Brianna Lindenmeyer of KNB Photos. Give this image a look. Jay, when you're ready, let me know. I'm just gonna start the timer. Let's do it. Okay, you got a number? I, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna go, wait, let's do it. Like three, two, ready, here we go. Eight. Seven. All right, I'm nicer than you are. He's from the you East are. Coast, he's a jerk. I thought we were gonna be rough with these, come on. <laughs> Let's, man, let's manhandle a little bit. <laughs> All right, Jay, why is it a seven? Uh, it was, you know, it's a teeter between seven and eight. It's, it's, it's hugging that line a little bit. You, you don't got to change this me, for me. Uh, for me, the, uh, the pose is good. Uh, the lighting is good. Uh, the, the thing that throws me off a little bit with this is the, whatever that is that's out of focus in the background. Yeah. I think that throws me off a little bit. If it was, you know, I'm, and mainly as a, you know, as a viewer or anybody looking at this image, I don't know what that is. Is, is it a window frame? Is it a, uh, you know, is it a fishing rod in the background? I have no idea, but it's, uh, it's a, it throws me off a little bit. So if, you know, if they were to, you know, clone that out, I'd probably be an eight for me, but that, I think that was the difference between an eight and a seven. Uh, lighting is good, you know, f focus is, you know, it looks like she nailed the focus and, you know, I love the, the gentle look, the, you know, the, the posing of the hands is real relaxed. So yeah, I mean, I, I love the image. The only thing that throws me off is, you know, like I said, the, the background and with, with the background being the highlights are a little bit blown out. So you kind of lose the veil in the background, not a huge deal, but you know, enough to, you know, I'd like to see a little bit of the detail in the veil in the background. All right, you left me with 20 seconds, bro. It's cool, that's cool. You covered yeah. it all. 
I'm going to finish up the, my 15 seconds right here. So look, cool. my thought is the exact same. I think it's very easy to nix that bar in Lightroom, just blow it out or just remove it in Photoshop. It's a very easy fix. Um, and then I would have taken the image up to like kind of a nine at that point. Oh man, my timer's up. The only thing that I would have done beyond that is, is um, I would have pulled that veil just across a tiny bit more. I love the fingers and I love the way that she's holding it, but pulling it across a tiny bit more to separate the face a little bit more. Uh, I love the natural light. Everything that you said about it is on point. Post-production is fantastic. Brianna, this is a great image. Nix that black and put it in your portfolio. This is awesome. I agree. All right. Gosh, you're, you're wordy. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get better at that. All right, let's do is it. This, is this, this is a, can I critique you? Can I verbally bash your critiquing? while we're critiquing? Yeah, go ahead. You might as well. <laughs> You're such a good guy, dude. Okay, so this next image is Brittany Rogan of Rogan Photography, and we have two minutes on the timer. Jay, you ready? I am ready. Okay, three, two, one. I'm giving it a five. Six. What the? Okay, why, why a six? <laughs> uh... Same thing, between a five and a six. For me, I think the pose needs a little bit of work. Um, lighting's good. You know, I wish I could see more of his face. He's kind of just straight up and down. His legs could be a little bit more separated. Uh, I don't know what his right hand's doing. Um, I like that you can see her face, but uh, her feet are together. So, uh, yeah, the pose for me is what drops it down and not being able to see his face a little bit more. And uh, that's it. All right, well, you're a little more kind than I am because I'm gonna say that this is kind of what a typical professional would do. It's just a little bit boring to me. It's kind of like you, we walk up to the scene, we place them in a position, and the nuanced things that you know I would say would take it up a notch, including what you mentioned with the pose, including the bullseye composition. I mean, this is straight up like right in the center. Like we didn't get lower, we're shooting from you know head height. And we also didn't clean up the kind of hairs that are crossing over the face right here. So we have a lot of hairs and flyaways that could have been cleaned up, including like what you said with, you know, his right hand, like what is his right hand doing? Those kind of things, along with the way that her feet are positioned, make it where I'm kind of just like, I wish she would have taken the extra time to set it up a little bit more. I, I do like the flare over here on the top right. I feel like this is probably being exaggerated with, uh, you know, we show like an LED string light trick where you bring the string lights up and over to exaggerate the flare of uh, sunlight. When you're doing that, be careful because the color doesn't quite match the rest of the flare. Like the sunlight is gonna be more orange. This is showing up a little more green. So I would probably tweak that a little bit in post um, to match like the oranges of the rock and like other things in the scene. But I do agree with you. I like the light. I like, you know, the post-production. Everything else looks beautiful on the shot. Those are things that I would improve though. So you're saying it, it does not get a uh, stamp of uh, approval for like a, or, uh, for Flair, right? That's a question for you, man. Does this get the J stamp of approval for Flair? No, no, not this time. But hey, you know what, Brittany? Maybe next time. <laughs> on, a, on a serious note, I, I really do like the way that you incorporate Flares into your work. Um, it's very unique. Be sure to check it out because it's it's... You use it a lot like in framing your subjects um, and you're using very specific lenses that have very nice flare kind of characteristics. So it, it's very cool. Um, but Brittany, great job overall and uh, hopefully that was helpful. Eduardo Lopez of M and Photo Concepts. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. All right, I, I got a number in my head. Yeah, I'm good. You ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm going with a four. Boom. Wait, <laughs> was that was that the delay? Did you copy me? What happened, dude? I uh, no. Uh, all right, maybe a little bit. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna put up the two minute timer. I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna leave you with the majority of the time on this one. Uh, go. You know, namely because I like to put the pressure on you and stuff. But so cool. my thought, Eduardo, is that. There's a few things that are pulling me back on this image. One is that the blacks are just really crushed in the shot. Um, so overall in post-production, I feel like we're losing so much of the detail. Um, it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, I think it's a little bit too much. So post-production, I'm dropping you back a little bit. The color tones don't really match up. We have kind of cool skin tones here, very blue, very warm. And I wanna see you tighten up the color kind of schema a little bit more by blending those colors and getting it to kind of match and, and lifting the blacks a bit. The only other thing I would probably mention on the shooting side is 
I don't like shots very much where we're shooting up somebody's nose, particularly close up. So I understand that you're angling the, the chin up because you probably wanna get that light to fill in the face. And I like the light quality in the face and the eyes and everything like that. I just don't like that we're looking directly up her nose. And I don't necessarily know what it is that we're shooting. Is it a fashion portrait? Is it about her? Is it about something she's looking at? So those are my main things. Jay, you got 60 seconds, bro. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. I don't like the blacks. They're too crushed. I don't like that we're looking up our nostrils. I'm going to copy everything you said because that was exactly what I was thinking. But uh, seriously, um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of when you lose the details in the blacks. You know, uh, I can't see your arms all the way. Uh, like you said, I can't tell if you're showing off the, the fashion, you know, the jacket she's wearing. The angle's a little bit too low for me and the background, it's almost a little bit uh, distracting uh, rather mm -hmm. than helping the image. Yeah, we don't quite uh, see what it is, huh? No, so, yeah, that's it. I mean, it, it definitely, uh, I think if it was a little bit wider maybe to show in what the background was, it could give us a little bit more feel of what he was, you know, what he was going for here. All right. All right, brother. That was nice. Well done. Eduardo, good job. Thanks for the submission. Hopefully that helped. Let's go on to Elizabeth Googe. I hope I pronounced that right. Of Northern Firefly Photography. Okay. Um, you leading or am I? Well, let's give our number and then I'm going to let you lead this. So, you ready for the number? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two. I'm stuck at a four, five-ish. Five. Five. Okay, go. All right. I'm not a huge fan of vertical shots. I've grown to get to like them more and more over the years, but you know, only if there's I see a good reason for it. Uh, you know, for this, I feel like the composition. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of the composition where she's her face is dead center in a vertical frame. Um, I, you know, I, I see the flowers. You know, in the background, she's trying to incorporate that, but the lighting is good. You know, the posing, I feel like it's it, it, posing and the composition together just doesn't really work for me. I feel like if she had put the model or the subject a little bit higher up where, you know, her face is a little bit higher, should more of her body, you can still get a little bit of flowers in the background. Lighting is good. There's not too many shadows. And I think, you know, mainly the biggest flaws for me are the composition and maybe should have moment it different, you know, maybe one of the landscape, you know, shot rather than a vertical shot. I agree 100%. So the the things that I would add to that is I do like, like you said, like you can see the background, but I think that the vertical composition, specifically the framing of her arms so close to the edge of the frame here is just, it's just too close for comfort. In addition, you're also getting some distortion. This looks like a 35, maybe a 50 millimeter lens, and you're getting some distortion and it's pulling the arms out, which isn't flattering at all. Now, what I would have done with this shot is basically pull it in. So if you watch this, I'm going to change this crop over to a narrower crop where we're basically gonna tighten this up uh, and let's see if we can just unlock this for a sec and I'm gonna pull this out this is where I feel like this should have been is kind of a crop like this you know if this were a tight crop and we were looking at it like almost more of a headshot then it would make sense but you're stuck in that in-between zone in that composition and it's not flattering the other thing I would mention is I love everything about the expression except what her eyes are doing she's not quite laughing and looking away yet she's not quite looking into the camera but I love the smile but it makes me wonder what it is that she's looking at since it's not looking down and off frame, it's looking kind of somewhat out. So those are my main things. Oh, we didn't even mention the light quality though. The light quality is beautiful. I did mention that. Oh, you got that? Man, I love it. you're I freaking like it. on top of it. She, she, Elizabeth, you did really good with that. I mean, like, like Pi said, it's, it's, a, it's a really good image. I think composition and you know, framing are just uh, something to work on. All right. We got Jessica Blatherwick of Stone Light Photography. We're on a roll, dude. We're doing good with our two-minute timers. I think it's... Yes, we are. You know, well, I, I think it's a lot of things. Namely that when it's you're talking, I, I look at your beard. Yeah, it's... It's I fantastic. Mean, I just need to do more of these for you guys. That's it. We need to do that, too. Okay, so Jessica Blatherwick of Stone Light Photography. This is a really beautiful portrait. Um, all right, I'm, I'm good with the number. Are you good? I'm good. Okay, three, two, ten. What the fudge? 
Well, she designs my albums for Twisted Oak, so I have to give her a 10. You know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm taking up all the time on this one, man. Wait, so no, is this, I, honestly, is this, did you honestly, sneak your own I, shot in I, here? What's that? Did you sneak your own image? I, I was like, this looks like a Twisted Oak style image right here. It's, it's with our, it's with the, uh, our preset, yeah. You cheating yeah, son it's, of a... It's, it's Jessica's, it's Jessica's image, not, not ours. Okay. Um, but, uh, well, in all honesty, I'd, I'd say, I'd say a seven or an eight. Okay. And honestly, seven or eight, you know what? You, you have a conflict of interest in this case, so I'm going to take over the critique on this one. All right. So, do it, do it. all right. So here's what I'm going to say. I, I love the image. I love the tones. And I think knowing your style, it fits it so well. So Jessica, amazing job in fitting kind of the overall look, the type of shot, the angle, everything. What I would honestly critique with this is I really like the way that the the toning and like the everything about this shot is about the couple and it's about this natural expression that you've brought out in them. It's beautiful. But the issue for me is the way that the arm is jutting into the camera. I would assume that you're shooting on either a 24 or a 35 prime. And the way that it's positioned, you're getting a lot of foreshortening. Now, the problem with that is this shot looks like a selfie, specifically because it looks like he's holding the camera himself. Like, that's what his arm would look like if you were to actually hold out the camera directly in front of him. It would kind of extend into the frame and, and have that look and feel to it. So I would have loved to see him sit up a little bit taller, bring that hand a little back closer to his body, and everything else is awesome. Also, I might extend the neck, but as far as the lighting goes, it's a beautiful light. It's a beautiful background that you selected that's nice and dark that kind of emphasizes the hair light that you see in that natural light. Uh, everything about it is great. The only things I would have tweaked is really on that side. Um, and that, that's about it. Jay, you got 10 seconds. You want to add anything? No? It's okay. Fine. Yeah. No, the editing is amazing. I mean, it looks beautiful. Uh, more than likely, I mean, I'd give it a 10 just for the editing because it's a twist of preset. So I'm, I'm good. I'm done. That's it. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> he just plugged his own presets on my show. I didn't do that. I mean, yeah, be sure to I check lied. them out. Be sure to check them out. They're amazing, and I love the look. It's awesome. Okay. All right. Ray Sawyer of Sawyer and Sawyer. For the, Ello's over here dying in the background. So. <laughs> he goes, he's such a G. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. That's fine. Ray Sawyer of Sawyer and Sawyer Photography. Ray has been a longtime member of our community and uh, a fantastic photographer. Ray, we were giving you a hard time, brother. You submitted a flashed image to a natural light thing, but you know what? It's all in good fun and we love the image, so we're throwing it in here. Plus, I'm gonna say that, you know what? It's kind of more on the natural shot, you know, like the natural side, it's not super dramatic. And I love the way that the, the light's incorporated. So let's just call it natural light. Specifically natural, because there was a flash. And you know what, Ray? I still, I'm still on your side, brother. I mean, it, it could be natural. I don't believe by with most of what he says, so we're gonna go with natural. I'm I mean, saying, I, I'm you saying know, that you, money on this. you both owe me drinks. That's what I'm saying. All right, so let's go into this image. Sure. Jay, you ready to critique this? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put up the timer. And first, let's start this off with our number, which I'm giving this an eight. Boom. All right, so I did most of the talking last time. Jay's got an eight. I got an eight. Let's go ahead and put up the timer. Jay, you go. All right, so here we go. For me, I mean, this screams, I mean, I love these type of shots. You got a little bit of flare in here. Hopefully it's 100% natural and not added in post, but it looks like it is. I don't know what lens was used here, but um, I like it. I love it. You know, the, the lighting, it does look like there was artificial light added. Sorry, Ray, I have to say it, but it does um for me well, the though. biggest things are i'd say the composition for me i'm a big fan personally of rule of thirds i would have put them a little bit lower in the frame uh and had a little bit more sky just because i don't like their positioning and, and i'm being overly critical right because honestly i i do i really love this image a lot uh i honestly think it could win an you know one of the slo lounge awards if you were to submit it so you know uh, the is the just... mounds in the background kind of cut he... <laughs> you know are right along you know the uh, they kind of cut through the sub you know their heads i wish they were either below the mountains or a little bit more above them 
So either you got lower or you shot a little bit higher. But personally, I wish you would have got a little bit higher, you know, and had them, you know, had more of the mountains behind them covering their heads. But yeah, I mean, for me, the only reason it loses two points is that it, the, the composition and framing and the fact that he used the flash. I love everything about what you said. I got 30 seconds left, so here's what I'm gonna say. Uh, Ray, it's an incredible image, and I would throw it in your portfolio right now as is. It's awesome. The the things that I would tweak, it looks like you did add that flare in post, because I don't think this is a natural flare optic from a typical lens, especially with the rendering of this light, but you've blended it and done it very well where it's convincing. I also love the balance of flash to background. I think it's a perfect balance. It ends up with a natural looking image, uh, but you've brought out the detail in the subjects, which is awesome. And you know what, my timer's up, but I'm gonna still talk just for one second. So just give me a second, okay, Jay? Fine, fine. Thank you. So the one thing is that I would have moved that flash just a tiny bit, maybe even angled it and adjusted it onto her, her side, like angling into her, because it leaves her, her breast basically in the shadow, which is kind of odd and it draws my eye a little bit to it. The other thing is, like Jay said, uh, I would love to see you take an angle that if you're trying to frame the sun directly behind them, which is what it looks like here, get a little bit lower so that you can put the sun directly behind them and the brightest point is right behind their heads. Otherwise, get a little bit higher if it were possible. And like Jay said, put them against the mountain where you can see more of the view, more of the lake, more of everything. But this is like kind of a little bit of nitpicking things. As is, it is an incredible image. Um, should you submit it to SR Lounge Awards and would it win an award? Like I feel like, I feel like Jay's putting me in a weird situation right now. You're you're putting me in a I mean, weird situation. Hey, I'd give it an award, right? If, if it, he doesn't, then you know I'm basically. It is uh, it is an award worthy image, Ray. So great job with this shot. I love it. Uh, let's go ahead and move to the next image. Okay, this is from Rich Orange of R Orange Photography. What do you think R Orange stands for? R Orange. I don't know. What do you think it stands Good for? Question. Not sure. I don't know. Hmm. All right, well, let's go. Okay, you kick it off. Let's get let's get a number from you. All right, I'm gonna go uh, six. I'm going five. All right. Close one. You want to go first? Or you want me to go? I'll go quickly. I think it's a nice shot. Um, I really love the light. You've positioned them in a great spot. Very natural. Uh, the background's awesome. This is honestly to me what you know, a professional photographer should do in this scene. And I'm kind of stuck between like a, a, a little bit of a five or a six here, but good expression. It's just a, like, to me, this is just a little bit boring and we're also slightly off centered. So if you're going for a center composition, I would say make sure you're dialed in where everyone's in the center of that frame. Um, and, and that's kind of it, but I'm not seeing anything beyond that. The post-production pulls me back a little bit because I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the way that this is processed. Um, damn it, I forgot to put up the timer. But yeah, the, the, the main thing here is that I don't feel like, you okay over there? Yeah, I'm good. Go was, that, was that your air horn? No, I'm just getting bored. You're boring me. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. It's your turn. He's can of air. All right, here we go. Can here of go. air, Fr plug in his presets. <laughs> To saying which images are gonna get awards. You're fired. You're fired from not being paid to do this. All right, here we go. Everybody listen to me right now. <laughs> Rich Orange of R Orange Photography. Uh, all right, it's good. Lighting's good. I like the lights on her face. I wish they were holding hands with those hands closest to us. I wish that the That's a good point. brick wall behind them wasn't cutting directly through their faces, which means you would have to got dirty and down on the grass to get them higher than that or shot a little bit higher up to get them lower. Maybe a little bit closer with their faces, even though they're, you know, the laughter's good. And uh, I, I, I think that's it. The hand holding thing bothers me a ton and uh, the, the wall. So yeah, hands and the wall, that's it. Okay. Well done. Uh, I, I agree. That was very nice and concise. In fact, you left 30 seconds on the clock, so thank you for that. Good. I'm good. not, not going to say it was any less I'm running out interesting, of there to interesting than my own. Myself. <laughs> okay. All right. Rich, hopefully that helps. Let's go on to... 
Damn it, Rich. You snuck two in here. That's cool. Did he? It's cool. He did. He did. We'll 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 give him another one. We'll give him another one. Let's 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 think about this one. Uh, I already know what part. I know what rating you're gonna give this one. I already know you. No, you don't. You do not know me. I love these tones. My name is Jake Casario. I am gonna <laughs> I'm gonna rip this image apart, Rich. I apologize. <laughs> okay, here we go. In five, four, three, two. I'm stuck. Five. Four. Four. Man, that's harsh. I'm gonna be I'm going to be very mean. Go, go. Dark, Let's hear this. Crude. All right, here we go. I like it, but it's honestly, uh, I don't know. The window, my eyes immediately go to the window because it's the brightest spot in the image. The They're a little bit too dark for me. The highlights on them are a little bit, you know, if you want to bring that rim light out on her and him, you got to make it a little bit brighter. I don't know how I would have incorporated that window. You know, I, I like the idea that you did a bit of light, but maybe move them away from the window and just cut that window out completely so it's not distracting. Because I'm almost like looking out the window to see if there's something out there. Is there like a deer or an elephant? Are you in Africa? Or, you know, is there a zebra going to walk by? I see an elephant a right turtle. there. turtle. But, yeah, something, I mean, see the it's just... And then also the circle of the window cuts into his shoulder, the framing. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I love the idea you had behind this rich but i just i am i'm distracted that's all rich so. he's a big jerk i mean like just take everything that he just said and throw it out the window it's worthless <laughs> <laughs> actually I, I i agree with most of what jay is saying here and particularly like there's so what i'm playing with right now if you look at this there's not really anything of value on the left side of this frame so you know, I think Jay's points are right on, the shadows are dark, everything. But let me talk about something different. What's the value of having black on the left side? Because it's not necessarily a negative space shot. It just looks like the frame went blacked out, which is something that probably was done in post. Now, I think you end up with a much stronger image kind of shifting this over to the right side and making this basically a square crop. Um, square cropping it for essentially for like Instagram where you have this image that's a little bit more kind of filling of the frame. You have this light kind of leading into them. But I do agree that there's not necessarily, I think the light's interesting. If you, if you saw kind of what's going on outside or if it was visually compelling, um, I do love that the shadows on them, it's just a little bit too much. And the light, the light in background is just a little bit too bright and it makes us just kind of focus on that. So bringing your composition where you can kind of use the frame of the window to frame your subjects as opposed to like placing it right next to them. All right. Hold on, I'm checking my email. I didn't know if you wanted to maybe email me the rest of that since you were still flapping your jaw. Did I talk too much? <laughs> You're so rude. Let's, let let's, never, let's never have him back. I'm just kidding. We're going to no, bring not, him back. I'm never we're going to we're going to bring him mother. F I I was just about to say we want to bring you back like a lot. Okay, here we go. My goal by the end of this was to make sure that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> just keep plugging your presets, bro. We'll <laughs> That's it. That's what I'm here for. Okay. This is from Rose A Green of Rags Photography Rags Photography. I was about to say ragsphotography.jpg. Uh yeah, that's not yeah, Rags Photography. Okay, so You ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go with three. No. Oh, what? Five, uh, five. Five for five. five, five. <laughs> Did you guys see that? You guys see? Hold your ground, dude. You're like a politician. Like, you don't need to, no, I gotta, you don't need to impress I anybody. To, I can't disagree with you too much. It's your show. <laughs> Well, I'm going to let you go first by justifying what you felt like was deserving of a six on this. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Rose, I love the light on this. Uh, okay. You know, I love, you know, with natural light especially, the, the light on her face is perfect. Uh, you know, it, it, there's not any shadows under her eyes. The lighting's really good. The leading line of the tree going into her right arm works for me. The tree in the background on her left side is a little bit distracting. The cutting off of the arm, her the bottom of her arms, 
it, to me, I'm, I'm a huge uh, critiquer of cropping. So certain things bother me. And, you know, that's one of them. It's just, you know, cutting off. And I don't know if you cropped it that way or if that's the way it was when you took it. But, yeah, just I would have liked to have seen her elbows and arms fully. You know, expression's good. It's a little straight on the camera. Maybe have her turn her chin a little bit to one side or the other. And same thing with the rule of thirds. I mean, maybe just crop it a little bit more creatively. It's good lighting, but a little bit boring, as I like to say. He loves that word, boring. But I'm going to steal it. So, it's a very yeah, I think you could have just a little bit more word. creative. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. It's a very normal. Okay, you know what? Stop talking so I can I can actually get into this. Rose, it, it's really nice. I, I like it a lot. I agree with Jay. This this tree on the left side over here is is just too much for me. And I agree 100% with the crops. Jay is a critical cropper. That's the technical term for what he is. And and I agree 100% that we're kind of in this in between zone where like I would rather be up tight on an image like this, and kind of be up here or be wider on the image. So you're stuck in between, and that's what's giving us this awkward crop at our elbows. And because Jay took up all my time, I can't talk anymore. So thanks about that, Jay. But I am gonna wait, say one thing, I'm gonna say one thing. I, I think that her skin tones have too much pinks in them. So on the post side, I would have loved to see that kind of neutralize a bit more and get to a, a, a better toning. And those are the main things that like, those are the main things for me. I see too much blues in the tree and too much pinks in her skin. Um, so on the post production side, I kind of minused out one. And on the framing side, I minus out one as well. That's why I got to a, a three. That's it. And real, real quick, one more thing. Maybe like a graduated filter on either side to kind of, or like a vignette, just to kind of draw your attention towards her. I mean, he, a little bit more using shadows. He took you know, shadows, 90 seconds, and the dude it. is still talking right now. Yeah, I'm still going. Okay, so. no, you know what? I agree with you. Let me show what that would look like. So I have this right here. We're going to go ahead and just grab a quick little burn and throw that on there, not inverted. Um, so yeah, so pulling in like a little burn, like right into the center of the frame would be kind of nice. <laughs> what the heck? There we go. Um, not that much, you know, this is this is a little too much. What do you think, Jay? Do you like that? This is this is Jay's style right here. In fact, Jay likes I, it where you do zero feathering. Um, this, is, this is Jay's kind of vignette right there. He loves that look. Um, that's twisted. I would, oaks. I would, I would love to say that I do, but I can't even see the image. I just see your ugly mug, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so like a negative point five is good, and then to pull that in. So that's what that would look like. I agree a hundred percent, Jay. That is cool. not the way that he likes his uh, vignettes. Don't worry, he wouldn't be on this show if he liked his vignettes like that. I wouldn't invite him on. No. No, he wouldn't. No. He, he's a very big vignette fan. I mean very picky with them so okay let's go all right so this is samuel quinn of facebook.com what the hell samuel quinn of photography by samuel quinn not of facebook.com it's on facebook. that's thanks carlo that's that that's a that's a carlo mistake right there i'm gonna call him out for it uh okay there you go carlo seriously dude ha <sighs> Step into my office. <laughs> Cause you're free. <laughs> okay. So you got a number? Uh, yeah. I got a number. And, all right. Okay. One. Two. Two. Seven. Six. Okay. I I'm gonna go first cause you're a time hog. So I'm gonna start a timer. Fine. Fine. So look, I love most everything about this. I love the low angle from the flowers. I love the natural light. The shot looks beautiful. It's post-produced and the colors look fantastic. I would do that same thing and pull in a little bit of a radial vignette just to darken down the edges a tiny, tiny bit, uh, like a half stop, no more. But I love everything overall. My main crit uh, critique here is regarding the posing and the setup. I don't like it when a head is directly below another like this. Um, and I don't like it where all their heads are kind of straight except his head is tipped off to the side. Generally, we tip our heads away as a sign of kind of body language that we are uncomfortable. So we're kind of tipping our head away subconsciously because we're uncomfortable with what we're doing or who we're close to. Now, it just might be a little bit of sibling rivalry in this shot, but I would have rather had them kind of pull in and kind of lean the heads toward each other and have little sister here lean her head onto one of the brother's arms so she's not directly below big sister behind her. That's it, go, and you got a minute because I'm nice. 
That was a horrible critique. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I agree with mostly everything, actually all of it, but I just had to say that. The vignette is the only thing it needs for me. The head tilting, I mean, yeah, it needs to be a little bit better. The good thing is you've got good expressions on their faces. They're all smiling, which can be tough to do with kids at that age. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, all around it's a good image. Uh, for me, editing could enhance this a little bit more. Uh, you know, the, the angle you shot this at was really good. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm done. I, I really don't got much for this one. All right. Man of few words. Just the way that's we it. like him. <laughs> okay. Samuel, hopefully that was helpful. Let's go on to, I think this is our last and final image. This is Imke Jansen of Imke Mert. Phot I'm, I'm sure I'm slaughtering this, of Imke Mert Photography. Uh, all right. I got a number. Do you got a number? No. No, I don't. It's, he just worked out. He's a little bit slow in the mind because his calories are all going to feed his muscles right now, and his brain is a little bit deficient. I'm just I'm just explaining well. what's happening to you right now for everybody out there. No, it's good. It's I, I think everybody needs to understand that a little bit better. So hey, it's good. I appreciate it. He that. has a JPEG Bye. mini shirt. That that needs to be JPEG large, not JPEG mini. That doesn't make any sense. The first, the first thing my wife said when she seen a picture of this from WPPI was, "Who gave you the shirt that says mini written on it?" It's kind of an oxymoron. That's all right. A little bit. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'm between a five and a six. Okay, you're gonna go first. All right. <laughs> so this is a toughie because I know exactly what you're going for, Yimki. If I'm saying that right, hopefully I am. But I, I think hand placement with a shot like this is very, very critical because I, I know you're trying to put those hands in a specific place to make this image, you know, look the way you want it to. Um, same thing with an image earlier. The blacks are a little bit too crushed. I'm losing a little bit of detail in, you know, the back of her head and her hair. Um, I wish her face was a little bit, you know, the light, you know, lighting is, you know, covering her entire face. I wish it was shadow on one side or the other. Um, and her hands, maybe her left hand was actually like on her face a little bit, not just on her neck. Um, it's tough. There's just little critical things. Overall, I, I think it's an awesome, it's a great image. I do. I, I like it a lot. Uh, and the vertical crop works, but yeah, just little tiny critiques, you know, bring the blacks up a little bit, move the hands around and, uh, maybe add a little bit of shadow to one side or the other of her face. That's it. Thought. This is why he's the master critiquer. It's on point. It's on point, Jay. Your shirt's not, but the critique was on point. Okay. So my, so, my yeah. thing is like you said um you know what's interesting about this is that the chest actually has the perfect amount of light and shadows what has happened here is that the the face and the hands have been dodged to the point where they're too bright we're losing detail in the face we're losing detail all over the skin and it looks flat and porcelain like um you know everything like through the arms and the face the faces and the arms are too bright and we lost our shadows now, honestly, like you said, I, I would have pulled the light a little bit more to a direction to give the face a little more shape and dimension with a little bit of shadow. But the main thing here is we have over retouching of the face. You have a really beautiful light and a really beautiful shot. Um, I'm gonna take my last 30 seconds because you, you you took most of it. So it's just like, like the whole thing. Like this whole thing has been you. It's all about Jay. It is. It's always it about is Jay. all about me. Okay. So the, the the main thing here is is we, we just went too far on that. Um, the chest is like kind of a perfect example of where it should be. Everything pulled back a little bit. And that way, the, the contrast between the whites and the blacks aren't as crazy as what they are right now, which is what Jay's referring to. Like the blacks are just too deep, the whites are just too much, and the balance is not quite right there. Um, the only last thing I would mention is that the expression is a little bit dead. Uh, I don't mind the hands too much. I understand what you're trying to do, like Jay said, in framing the face. I do think it's a little bit off, especially with the, it's this left hand that feels like where the where it's placed in the head and the hair is off. The right hand is good, like in terms of how it's kind of grasping her neck, um, but the eyes are just wide open, kind of confused lips. Are you gonna spray the air again? Are you are you okay? No, I was just I didn't know whether to call you out on your left and rights, but you're get them backwards. But I won't say nothing. Everybody um, forget that I mentioned that he's he's it's he's the boss. So. Critiquing left versus camera left. You know what I mean? Like it's the viewer left. 
Hey, uh, whatever you want to go with, it's your show. It's my show. It's, it is my show. <laughs> G. <laughs> okay, so check this out. I want to thank Jay for coming on to our episode of Constructive Critique. I also want to thank everybody that submitted their images. I hope all this has been very useful to you guys. Now, at this point, I want you guys to check out Jay Casario's work. You guys can follow him at Twisted Oaks on Instagram. Is that correct? Twisted Oaks Studio. Twisted Oak Studio on Instagram. We're gonna throw up all the deets below. Now let's talk about that workshop you got coming up in Iceland. You're teaching it actually with Jason Vinson. Is that correct? Yeah, Jason Vinson, who is like I, you know, he's gonna be doing a critique I think next Wednesday with you. Yeah. Um, so he'll probably be plugging the same workshop. Um, it's the first workshop I've done in Iceland, and same with Jason. And you know, we have Bud Johnson also going with us. So the three of us, and we have, you know, actually, it's only filled up, I think, halfway. So we do have, a, you know, a few spots left available, and we'd love to get them filled up. But it's, uh, you know, it's a good price for Iceland, and it, you know, it's uh, lodgings covered, food's covered, travel's covered. The only thing you got to pay for is the ticket and the airfare, and everything else is covered. So, yeah, that's it. A quick plug to that, and, uh, yeah, I would love to see if I could fill it up by some SLR Lounge photographers so be sure to check that out guys um I i'm gonna be honest this is one of those workshops that i would sign up for myself um not only is it gonna be an incredible experience but you got jay casario who is an sr lounge ambassador among like an ambassador with other platforms an incredible educator an incredible photographer on top of that you're getting jason vincent who's another top 100 in the world uh, and along with that, you're getting Bud Johnson. It's gonna be a really great experience. So I have no qualms plugging that and telling you guys that it's gonna be worth checking out for sure. Uh, thank you for joining us, brother. We're gonna include all the links for you guys down below. And if you guys liked the episode, please give us a thumbs up. You guys can subscribe to the YouTube channel and let us know who you'd like to see on Constructive Critique in the future. We'll see you guys in the next episode.